Hello Summoners and Summonettes, it's Golden here and today for our weekly Typical Tuesday video I'm bringing you an Oriana mid lane, mid game, I can't even talk, but you guys already knew that. But we are on our smurf here, we are damn four in a ranked game so hopefully it'll be kind of a competitive game here. But I honestly can't even tell you who I'm going up against, their team is so weird, it's the opposite of everything I thought it would be. It might be an Aatrox mid with a Knight, or it could be top, and mid lane just brought the teleport. I really have no idea. We're going to have to just wait and find out. But uh, Oriana, she's always going to be relevant as far as typical Tuesdays go, just because her kit is so good in League of Legends. It just has so much utility, so much damage, just a whole bunch of AoE damage. So she's always going to be viable in fives, just because... She's a champion who requires a lot of coordination, you know, with her ball movements and whatnot, wombo combo, stuff like that, which is why you'll always see her being played at World. She's played a bunch, Season 3, Season 4, and even this season, so she's always going to be relevant for this little mini-series here, so I figured why not give her a go. It's been a little while since I played her. I used to main her in Season 4 for a little bit, so hopefully we can bring back some epic farming here and see what we can do. But I chose to bring Barrier just because I thought it was going to be Aatrox Jungle and I figured, okay, it's Malice Mid still. I figured Aatrox Jungle plus Malice Arm might try and gang up on me quite a bit here. So I wanted to have the defensive summoner spell of Barrier, but it looks like it's just going to be Aatrox top with Ignite. So totally against my expectations, which is maybe what he was going for. So got the uh, extra ghoul there from Malzahar. Thank you for the gold my friend and just gonna continue to last hit here chunking him a little bit with my Q there sidestepping his Q as well gotta get this wave pushed in a little bit just to try and secure level 2 at around the same time he gets it there it is and we'll pick up our dissonance our W just so we can start poking him down a little bit with the abilities there yeah missed that uh, minion there all good though first minion I missed Gotta make sure I don't let these space aids connect to me. Nobody likes space aids. We'll be able to last hit all of these perfectly with the damage they're at. Cool. So, last hitting fairly well here. We got 12, even though one of them was his ghoul. Or minion. I don't even know what you call them. Ah, missed that. What are voidlings? That's what they're called. Holy moly. I couldn't remember what they were called for the longest time. It's been so long since I've played against the Malzahar unranked. Alright, gonna go ahead and take my command protect here, my E level 3, just so we can have that full combo ability. Let's try and snag that, there we go. Free 12 gold whenever you can, baby. Gonna miss these, because they're all just at the wrong health here at that turret, unfortunately. But it's not that big of a deal. Still sissing rather well here. About tied with him, but he just auto pushes away, so it's very easy for Melzahar to get CS here. Eh, gonna miss that again. Shouldn't be missing that. Oh well. But uh, I max Q second, as a lot of you already know. Really? That hit me? I'm going to put a shield on myself because I just don't want to get chunked down from his space aids. But uh, I like max and Q second. It's personal preference here. A lot of Orianas do W just because it's a little bit more burst. But I think it's a little bit more consistent DPS in fights to do Q. And it makes your ult a lot more easier, obviously, because you get to move the ball around a whole heck of a lot more. Let's not get hit by this aids. And we'll take that and... Oh, I auto... Oh, no mind. I thought I auto attacked too early on that. Should be able to get most of these here. Oh, man. Didn't have the damage on the key. Thought I did. But again, still CSing. Okay for him AFK pushing. I do need to start pressing into him, I think, though. Because he has teleport, so he doesn't have the extra summoner advantage that I do. But obviously... And again, if I waste a lot of mana pressing into him, he's just going to teleport back. So it all be for nothing. So gotta really make it an impactful uh, trade or kill there to really have big impact against that teleport. But we have Scion on the jungle too. I forgot to mention that. I haven't seen a Scion jungle in so long. His ganks, not too sure how potent they are from the jungle. So it's gonna be interesting to see how that pans out. Just not gonna get hit by that aids again. Aids is not our friend. And I'm going to miss these minions, but it's all good. Got his ghoul. Okay. Not ghoul. Voidling. <laughs> I need to ingrain that into my brain. But, uh... 
Where's their? Wait, they have a brand. Wait, what the hell? Never mind. Okay, I'm dumb. I just saw that brand. I thought it was some funky bot lane, but I'm just crazy. Never mind. Brand support. Okay. Cool. <laughs> we got that covered and out of our system. Oh my god, I'm really missing these right now. I'm pissed, and I don't have mana to get the rest of those. Mal's AFK pushing. I'm just gonna uh, hint to my jungler that he could potentially gank if he wanted to. Just because this guy is literally pushing 24-7. Sun so pinging he's coming. But uh, I don't have any mana to help him out for this gank, so it's gonna be interesting. Alright, got those minions. So gonna prep the backline minions as well. Should be able to get all of these here, hopefully. I lied. I gotta ruin it for the, the siege minion get there. Because wouldn't have gotten that with an auto attack. So, got the siege minion and ended up missing one minion, I think, under turret there. What's really annoying about Malzahar is he gets mana off of every hop his space aids does. So, he's just able to clear the wave, wave after wave here, and not really give a crap. And just have enough mana always to do battle with me. And it's frustrating. And he ganks now, but I literally don't have mana to help him out. So, all for naught. Alright, I'm gonna go for a tier build here, actually. I think it'll be alright. I wanna try and give it a go here. Actually, I wanna do a funky build here, I think. Alright, let's try it out. I'm gonna go for a tier and Morella Namicon build. I've been wanting to try this out for a while, double mana items. It's not necessary on Orianna, but I think it's pretty strong. Very, you know, hyperscaling into the game, so. I want to give it a go, and I definitely think the Morellos is going to be pretty good against their team, especially someone like Aatrox. So, I'm going to actually do it here. I normally only get Athenes or Morella Namicon. I hardly ever go for the Archangel staff, but I want to see how it'll pan out here. The uh, Melzhar, he's just going to teleport back to lane, so I'm not really going to bother trying to push it out too hard here. Or maybe I do, and it forces him to teleport back to lane, so it doesn't. Yeah. We'll push just because it'll force him back and to have to use that teleport so he can't use it in other lanes and affect them that way. So it kind of keeps him in the uh, lane here. Hecarim just doing a little bit of trading with me there. Nothing too special there. Clears the wave. I guess that allows the mouse to save his teleport. So that's not too bad of a move. But no first blood yet. Interesting game and interesting to see how it's panning out at the moment but Scion just miles behind in farm not the best jungler in the world didn't yeah I don't consider him that good of a jungler just because he doesn't get to utilize his whole kit too well in the jungle so kind of a missed opportunity Hecarim's just been power farming compared to our Scion so he's gonna be a lot more impactful at the moment blue buff is up and I love farming me some jungle camps here, so if I could get this blue, I'll just start power farming side camps here with rates as well as wolves. And if not, it'll be unfortunate, but uh, since Scion's, you know, not the best clearing, or not the best at clearing camps, I could help him clear those camps that he can't clear otherwise. <laughs> so I'm pretty much just saying, hey, give me your blue, because I want mana all the time. Let's see if he gives it to me. I don't know if he's going to. It'd be dope if I got it, though. Hell yeah. Okay, so now that we got this blue buff... Ooh, four-man bottom. They're dead. Can't even do much against that. That's just not even fair. That's brutal. Are they actually alive right now? I'm so surprised. Okay, she sniped him, unfortunately. I was going to go try and save the Blitz, but snipe of the SMD rocket comes out and takes him out. They're going to get Dragon. This is time for our sign to get himself back into the game a little bit as far as XP goes. But I like I was saying with blue buff, I don't ever try to fight the enemy laner. I just go for power farming here. I take all the jungle camps in the game, enemies and mine included. Because Orianna just is so efficient at clearing the side camps here with her ball movements. And she hardly takes any damage from them from doing so. Oh god, the mouse freaked out a little bit there. Hecarim just going in on me there, wasting exhaust. Does a little bit of damage, but uh, no follow-up there. Oh man, race aren't there. I really want to just go crazy on side 
side wave farming, but uh, or side camp farming. But it wasn't there for the pickings. Looks like Cyan's gonna try an alt tactic in the mid lane here. Could work. But uh, again, not terribly much mana to work with here. And this is just gonna go wide left. Yeah, not working out there. He's gonna get ulted probably by the Melsa Heart. Are you kidding me, dude? Ugh. <laughs> Alright, so he commits for the gank and then pushes out at the last second there, so that's incredibly awkward. Whatever, it's not going to be the end of the world for me not having alt, but I'm just going to continue to farm then if he's not really going to do what I expect him to do. So, not that big of a deal. Just going to continue to get ahead with these side camps and not... Not bad, I'll take. We'll just have to play a different approach. So we're gonna go back eventually and get the components for that Morellonomicon. Do have enough for the Forbidden Idol as well as that uh, Fiendish Codex. So I think I'm gonna do that right now actually. Got it pushed in. Yeah, we'll do that. Scion, ooh, dangerously low in his own jungle. Alright, let's pick that up. Boom, boom, boom. Got components all over the board. Not bad. We'll try and finish that up, and then we'll get the Archangel staff so we can get those stacks going a lot quicker. Botland is just all sorts of dead. Good Flash, actually. She will live. So, props to them for... I mean, it sucks. All the action is focused on them. And our jungler is literally just not doing anything. He can't get a successful gank off. Can't farm as fast as heck. So, he's just getting beat on all accounts, which is really frustrating to have on your team, I will, won't lie. Alright, Malzahar and I are just gonna do our thing. By our thing, I mean clear literally every minion in the mid lane with ease. Alright, they took bot turn as well, damn. I'm gonna try and roam. I wanna try and pressure the map a little bit, just cause we're not gonna get any jungle pressure at all this game. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. Oh, baby! My homie Flex going in. And let's see if Malzahar... Malzahar is going to go for this dive, I think, onto GP. So I want to try and find him. I know he's in our jungle somewhere. I don't know where he went, though. All right, he's out. Cool. So AJ going ham up there. I don't need you trash. Wow. BM, 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 BM. Wait, Sion put a pink in that bush as well? Interesting. Alright, so we got GP scaling up in that top lane, which is nice, but uh, might need just a little bit more <laughs> the gangplank scaling to bring us back, because we're pretty far behind. It might not look like it, it's one or two. Oh my god, I missed that many. But uh, we're pretty far behind as a team. Let's see if he can hit the hook here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ball nicely down onto Blitzcrank. He should still die, even me not ulting. There he goes. Beautiful. So I got to hold on to my ult. That, that was just pretty much chain CC there from the initial Blitzcrank grab. So nice roam out of the bot lane to actually get us on the board. And I think Malzahar has teleport, so I don't think we can get too much damage on that turret. They show up anyways. But uh, I'll take this time to go back and pick up my Nomicon. Why not? Have the gold for it, and that'll be nice to uh, help me out here in fighting the mid laner. Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade our trinket as well as just buy some potions here and nothing else. Gonna wait for 1250. That is the dream for that Archangel stuff. Our farm's pretty nice at the moment. I'd like it to be a little bit higher just so we can come crazy, you know, hitting that 25 30 minute mark in the game with just a whole bunch of gold on us. Uh, let's see if I can run nice immediate remove scurvy to get rid of that fear from the Hecarim also. He's just staying safe, walking away from any harm's way there, up in that top lane. And again, Space Aid's just gonna clear out the whole wave, and I can't do anything about it, because Malzahar. Let's just make sure it doesn't connect onto me, and we're good. Alright, getting all those Mignones, and we'll snag that, and we'll snag that, and we'll... Mm, let's gonna try and get that, but can't. Alright, let's grab ourselves a blue buff, and then we will look to just power farm again. 
And helping out the jungler there, putting on the shield so he doesn't take as much damage from the camp there. And I'm just going to move immediately to the wolves here and finish these up. He's pushing mid lane, so I'm just going to graciously wait for the wave to come to my turret. And look at that, I don't miss a single minion this way. Unless, nope, we're not going to miss any. Oh god, I missed that one just because I couldn't hit it with my E. I thought I would clip it. And he just warded right there, so I'm not going to walk that way. But I'm going to path this way to clear the rates because I'm all about that farm, baby. And again, making sure to put the ball through the enemy and then retract it back to me with my command to protect to not only obviously get my shield, but to do the damage to the camp as well. Just maximizing our efficiency without clears. Oh my god, I missed the W2. Awkward. Alright, you guys didn't see anything. But again, just trying to power farm here with what we got, given that blue buff. Is there a pink board in here still? I don't think so. Okay. Let's get this wave and then go back more than likely. I think that's the plan. Because he could potentially kill me with the damage he's rocking at the moment. So I want to try and just get this and go back. They're probably just going to get dragon. I'm fine with giving them the dragon. Just because... We're not really in a good spot to fight them, and he's gonna die. Oh, what the hell? I could have stayed. My bad. That was an inter funny interaction. I think he's out, though. I did not know you could do that with the suppression from Malzahar. So, pretty funny. Now, actually, I should be spamming spells here while waiting for gold for my uh, Niso Arch Rod, just because I have that tier. Could have gotten some stacks on that. But they group up mid and take that turret. They might be able to take more just because we don't have any wave clear actually on the uh, vein. Oh, nice flash grab. Gonna notice a kill there by the B crank. Good stuff. Even if he got the kill, you know, he gave us that opportunity. So happy with that. They have the pressure. They got all the outer turrets in the game. But I think our team comp is just way, way better late game. So if we can stall out just a tiny bit on the... Uh, you know, the lead that they have will be in a good spot. Alright, again, just, I mean, sorry, Cyan, but you're not clearing fast enough. I'm going to make sure these camps are always dead here, and I'm going to be a crazy carry in the late game. First item, Death Cap Muslim. That's funky to me. I don't know if that's good. I think first item, yeah, I feel like you need a second item to make Death Cap really, you know, bang for its buck, so. Interesting, but. We'll see if it works for him. Alright, let's see if we can get a pick anywhere. We'll finish off this ward, and we'll pop a ward over the wall. Just to see that brand doing his zomba dance. Ah, can't finish that ward, unfortunately. Oh, he does have a sweeper, though. Alright, people in my lane making me sad. I want to get all the farm. But it looks like we're just going to siege, and maybe get a mean map blood scrap on somebody. Either Hecarim or the uh, Meltar would be fine. But we're actually just going to straight up siege the turret and get it. So don't lose anybody for that. Fair enough. I'm down to fight, actually. I'm pretty strong at the moment. I have a decent amount of mana on me as well. So could go for something. Oh, we don't have a turret, though. I'm going to flash out of this initial Hecarim ult just because I don't want to get feared and comboed. But uh, let's see if we can get an ult off. Oh, Let's pop that passive real quick. And we'll go back in and get an ult. Ooh, a two-man ult. We do get one with the Scion passive, but only that one, unfortunately. Uh, couldn't really get that great of an ult off. It was kind of a disjointed fight all the way through, which was unfortunate. I ended up, I think I hit Aatrox as well around E-Res. Maybe, maybe not, but not bad. All right, let's see if I can... Hmm, I think we could have gone for that, my boy Flex and I. Oh well, better safe than sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and go back and pick up the Archangel's staff, and that'll just give us a whole bunch of stacks on the tier a lot faster. And we'll pick up a pink ward as well. Wasn't a terrible fight. I think we might have actually come out ahead. I think it was a two for one. No, it was two for two, I think. Yeah, two for two. I think Vayne and the Scion died, and then we got Hecarim and Mouse, I think it was. So, Oh, Hecarim didn't even die. What the hell? Never mind. Maybe it wasn't worth it for us, but it's still not too bad. I mean, we're scaling crazily into the game, so there is definitely light at the end of the tunnel here. Yeah, Gangplank and I are going to be fat, so not too bad. 
Maybe I didn't need to flash that Hecarim because nobody was in range to really follow up, but I was just... I was pretty trigger happy with that flash. Blitzcrank could be in a pickle here. I think he's gonna die. I can't really risk going to help him, so... Live long and prosper, my friend. Even though I guess you're dead, so you can't really do that, but... Gonna need some people mint. We don't have any wave clear besides myself here, so... Gotta be careful with my positioning, make sure I don't get caught, but we gotta get that wave clear going. Alright, his aids is gonna do its thing, and they're just trying to press the map right now, which is annoying, but uh, they have the right to do so, because they have that extra man advantage. Oh god, we're just going ham right now, so whoa, what an easy pickup on that uh, Nalzar, I'm just gonna go ahead and walk through those chompers, speed up my boy, force the flash out of, or the all, oh, excuse me, out of Hecarim. And that's two kills for us right there, so good stuff, just AJ making it happen somehow on that gangplank. And teleports top to save the turret as well. Dirty play there. And I still have my ult, and I feel like the enemy's gonna disrespect that, so we'll see if we can pick anyone off here. But that's gonna be two turrets for the mid lane and two kills. Just by a uh, brute force by the team, so well played team. Alright, let's just get all that going. And their blue might be up, I'm not too sure if it is, but we're definitely gonna take a peek, let me tell ya. I'll give shields to my boy Scion so you can clear it. Okay, blue is not up. But uh, I'm just gonna go back again. I think I'm gonna pick up Sork Shoes here. Oh, help me out, team, help me out. Ah, he ended up turning around, damn. Oh. Because we were on a ward. Okay then. So Science pinging these uh, chickens here. Looks like he needs them. I'll just help him out with them. I do want to try and get an L, an L rod here though. So I actually might go for that instead of the boots completion. Just a bigger spike in power with that. Alright, got the wave shoved. Let's go ahead and get on that. Ooh, Brand. Brand! He should be dead here. I'm going to try and help out my boy. Oh, that... Bounce, so unfortunate. I was about to throw a shield to him. But it looks like Blitzcrank kind of baited himself there. And that's actually going to be third dragon because he goes down there. Really unfortunate. Going to go ahead and run top. Try and get to my boy Flex. See if we can take out this AA Trox. Because I know that dragon's already a lost cause. Not even going to deal with it. Oh, he flashes in. Try and get to me, AJ. There's the shield. Can we take him down? It is going to be a one for one, I believe. And this guy should be dead here. I can just auto him to death and save my ult. Get the shutdown kill. Not too bad. Vin gets taken out on the flip side, unfortunately, though. But uh, let's see if we can defend this turret. I think we can. Relatively. What the hell is that happening? Alright, we're good, though. Luckily, it didn't matter. That almost killed us. I was really hoping to get that kill, but couldn't snag it, unfortunately. And obviously, I do have my Archangels completed, so got shields for days on my Oriana here. We're getting pretty fed. We're, I'm happy with where we're at right now. 1-0 and 6. Not a lot of kills, but you know what? We're getting the job done. Yeah, we can group soon. So I'm just going to go bottom because the wave's kind of here. And I'm just going to push out real quick. And then I'm going to go back. Probably pick up that NL rod as well as the booties now. Just get a little bit more mobility on us. Yeah, what's their team? I'm going to go Merc Trades this game. I'm not even trolling. They have a heck of a lot of uh, CC on their team, and I do not like getting CC'd, so screw it. Alright, we'll get that pushed up. I'm going to plop down a ward here just in case Gangplank can make a crazy teleport play bot lane for some reason. Might have just caught it. No, I think they're going to get caught, actually. Risky business. Alright, let's get that and that. Cool. And we'll just start running to my team here. But we are pretty damn strong. Two and a half items at the moment, and got a lot of utility to bring to these fights here, so we're, we're in a good spot. We're going top, they're going mid. I got enough wave clear to save this mid turret with ease, so let's base raise, baby. All I have to do is not get turret dove. We do have the gangplank all coming out as well, so boom, look at that wave clear. All gone, and we get that turret for free. Well, I guess for a gangplank call, but that's pretty worth it if you ask me. So... Yeah, I think they could have kept going, but no big deal. Alright, just gonna keep farming. That's the name of the game, playing Farmville, ladies and gentlemen. But that's how Oriana works sometimes. Got a big 242 farm on us at the moment. Most farm in the game. 
pretty good with that. Always all of our AoE and the strongest we need her. Oh, that's what I like to hear, baby. Ah, uh, give me that siege minion. I'm taking all the minions. All right, so gangplank goes bottom. Ooh, their wraith just spawned. Give me that. But uh, yeah, we definitely can start a fight relatively soon here. Wind's blue buff up right now. Give me that as well. Gangplank probably gonna be dead here. Unfortunately, it looks like Hecarim is on top of his face, and it's probably gonna get ulted. We got slowed by Jinx as well. Ooh, sidestep. I think he's still on the pickle though. Maybe, maybe not. What the hell? How is he still alive? And not only is he alive, he's picking up kills on the flip side of it. That is insane to me. Jinx probably gonna go down here as well. The enemy team, uh... Oh, my ball's not in that position. I could've stole it if it was on me. But, uh, what a god. I don't understand how the hell that just happened, but I ain't gonna question it. I just assumed the worst. I guess I'm a pessimist, man. But let's go ahead and get this wave. We'll give Blitzcrank that Siege Minion because he's got the stacks going. And let's see if we can just nuke. Yeah, I think we can. Just straight up brute force this Baron here. He has teleport as well. And he's going to make sure, you know, he can teleport to us if need be. But I don't think it's needed. I think this is just a free Baron for us. Amazing stuff out of the squad here. They know we're doing it, obviously. I'm on top of the scuttle cram. But if Jinx steals it, we don't deserve it. Okay, we got it. Crazy stuff there. So, gonna go ahead and go. I lied. I gotta get one wave top real quick. And then we will have that death cap. Mmm, baby. That is a lot of damage on us. Alright, let's try and get all these minions. Could be hard. Okay, we got a turret as well. That'll give it to us. I am so very scary at the moment. Let's just group up, baby. Got D cap. Let's go! 270 farm at 27 minutes. Pretty damn solid. Level 16. Gotta be the highest in the game. Tied for the highest in the game. And Siege is now. Got the blue buff. Got Baron. Got three items on Oriana. And oh my. Just that damage. Mmm. Sexy. Yeah, I know you like it, Sherlock. He's looking at me funny. But you know it's sexy. Come on. Yeah, he agrees. There's the meow. Alright, I'm not crazy. I'm talking to my cat. That's not crazy. Is it? Right, I'm gonna put a pink ward down here. I'm just gonna deny their vision, make Blitzcrank's job easier in the sense of getting the uh, free blind hooks off on the enemy team. But let's take up a little bit of damage here. I don't really care, to be honest. I'm fine to do so, but it looks like... Oh, sign all wears off. <laughs> but that was mad damage on the... He's dead! We killed him with the gangplank all there. I'm gonna go back and stop this Aatrox from... Uh... What the hell? Let me go back. I'm going to stop this Aatrox from taking our whole base here, but uh, we do get that inhib really easily. And I'm just going to pop this Aatrox real quick. He's going to go for this turret more than likely, and he's just going to die probably. Interrupted his jump. See you later, alligator. And that's going to be him going down more than likely here, and we'll just finish him off. Boom, bada bing, bada boom, baby. Free kill on Aatrox. Looks like the team's just ending the game potentially here. Great stuff out of them, and I didn't even get to like have a wombo combo. We literally farmed all game and just won, but that just goes to show how damn strong I was. I just, I don't think the game's over actually, but uh, I mean, I haven't even had like that crazy, you know, 3k elo shockwave, but it's almost not even needed if you get to this power just on your own for, by straight brute force farming, which is what I did. So I just kind of realized what I had to do to win this game oh my god crazy 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 but yeah I mean sometimes I was just like hey cyan can't farm I'm gonna do it for him and I got incredibly fed that way let's go ahead and go back and buy another NL rod real quick please uh, we look good now okay we look good on paper Alt. yeah we got the alt to finish the game all right so let's go ahead and look at the damage charts just for the shits and giggles of it i'm probably not too crazy on there because i was farming all game but at least i showed you guys how to farm on oriana so if you like the video go ahead and throw a like i'll have all my other social media such as twitch twitter and facebook as well as in smashers in the info box below and as always guys i'll see you all next time